Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to share an Ethernet connection through a Wi-Fi hotspot on a Mac. For the purposes of this video, we are going to be using my phone as the other device and we are going to first get a baseline reading there of the Wi-Fi connection speed. For the purposes of this video, I've set my main router speed to 100 megabit only and the Ethernet connection to 500 megabit to differentiate between the two. First step you gotta do is to hop in system preferences and check the network section. As you can see here, I've got my ethernet connected. And I wanna share that through my Wi-Fi chip in my Mac. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is go to the sharing section over here. And under internet sharing, I'm gonna choose the Wi-Fi protocol. I'm gonna share my uh, USB 10, 100, 1000 LAN, that's my incoming ethernet connection through my Wi-Fi chip. Okay, and over here you can toggle the Wi-Fi options. For example, I can I can set my network name and um, set the channel that I want to use and the security protocol that I'm going to use and finally the password. So after all that set up, you are going to tick the checkbox besides internet sharing and start. Okay, so when it started, you can see a different Wi-Fi icon here. And if you click on it, it will show you the other networks, but it will not connect to any of them because you are internet sharing. And that is probably one of the key points of this video is that your Wi-Fi chip cannot do two things at once. It can do either share your internet connection or connect to a network through Wi-Fi. Okay, so now you are going to go into your other devices and I'm going to show you the connection status there. Over on my phone, after connecting myself to the Wi-Fi hotspot that I just set up on my Mac, let's run an internet speed test. As expected, the Mac doesn't perform quite so good in internet sharing than compared to a dedicated router. However, it is still a viable option if you have an ethernet cable lying around and an ethernet connection connected to your Mac or if you don't have a router to begin with. And that marks the effective conclusion of this video. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one.